Hey guys and welcome. In today's video, I wanted to discuss something a little bit different to what we usually go into on the channel. And it's not necessarily around the future of Halo Infinite, but it's actually around what I believe would make Halo Infinite a much better game right now. And it's comparing it to the likes of Destiny and the way that they do their DLC, they do their armor, maps and things along those lines. And I think Halo Infinite suits that method extremely well. Now, before you comment everything down below saying that Destiny is awful or whatever it might be hating on the game, just hear me out in this video. I can guarantee you'll think that some of these are good ideas and you'll agree with me that some of these features would fit Halo so, so well. But guys, make sure you leave a comment down below what you generally think of Halo Infinite at the moment, ways you think you could, it could be improved and are you still playing it right now? Leave a like as well, be much appreciated and let's get into it. Okay, so starting off in this, I want to go into do the detail around the story, DLC, and seasonal events for Destiny, and then going into Halo Infinite. So to begin with, I'll explain how Destiny do it, and then referring into how I think that Halo Infinite should do it, or maybe try and tailor themselves to do it. Now, the way that Destiny works when you install the game for the first time is that you have your base campaign, which is free to play, and you can play through it and do whatever you like. That gives you an understanding of the base lore of the game, the original protagonists and antagonists, and all those things like that. It's interesting to look into and to generally find out about it. However, once you've completed the baseline story, you can then have the option to purchase other campaigns for the game. So Destiny has had a lot of campaign packs and I'll try and put a number of them on screen now so you can see the sheer volume of different campaign expansions that this game has had. And it doesn't just end there. Now these campaign expansions do have campaigns within them and they're quite long campaigns, like four to five hour campaigns that you can jump in and learn the lore and just really enjoy. But then alongside that as well, within that campaign pack, you then get seasons to have every 90 days or so. So a campaign pack could last an entire year and every 90 days you get a brand new season. Now that brand new season comes with a new narrative event that you can physically play. Now in Halo Infinite, of course, the new narrative is only a cutscene and you have to play through the event and finish the event battle pass to get to the finishing cutscene, which I don't really like. But within Destiny, you get all of it. You get cutscenes, you get to play the game, complete objectives in game and earn different armors and rewards whilst doing it. I know that the Destiny and Halo are completely different. Destiny is a looter shooter, whereas Halo isn't. They can still do this in Halo Infinite. They can give you rewards for completing challenges in these events or in like a PvP mode, which Halo is severely lacking and missing at the moment. Have different challenges and events to earn rewards doing that. Now this works really really well because the story isn't just something that's plonked on you and you can finish it in a couple of hours it's prolonged over multiple weeks so for example so as of last week of recording this video destiny season of the haunted launched and gave us a brand new storyline to follow that story is the first part of that story is played when the season drops the second part is the following Tuesday, and then it will go like that until it's completed. So you don't finish it all at once, and you've got a bit of a prolonged reason to go back and to play Destiny 2 again. But with Halo Infinite, <laughs> I jumped on for Season 2, watched the cutscene, and that was all for the entire season, or until the next narrative event. It's not quite the same, and it doesn't quite hit the same when you're playing through it. This is one thing that I would love Halo Infinite to do. I'm not really a massive fan of having my Spartan as having his own campaign in the multiplayer. I would much prefer for the campaign storyline to completely tie in with what's going on in multiplayer or a future PvE mode. That would make much more sense to me. It would be a lot more engaging to me and it, the emotion around that would be a lot higher. I don't really care that much about my Spartan story because my Spartan story is just me playing through the game. It shouldn't really be tied into a multiplayer narrative in my opinion anyway. But let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. I'd be interested to know what you guys think about that. Like even if it's fighting alongside the chief or something in a PvE mode, fighting against the banished or taking back some form of a compound or whatnot it might be and then doing missions like that and having the opportunity to jump into a big lobby with loads of people and just PvE things. That is the dream for me. Now moving on to maps. This is something that I think will be divided into two sections. You'd have the multiplayer side of things and then campaign slash PvE modes. Now for starting off with multiplayer, Destiny and Halo both have their dedicated multiplayer modes, 4v4, 6v6, whatever it might be. They have those modes that you can play if you enjoy that arena type shooter. And they're giving you the option to do that completely free for both games. Now in order to play PvE on Halo, you've got to buy the campaign. But Destiny, of course, it's 
built in heavily to the game. Now, Destiny has a method that I'm sure you guys know if you've played it, where you can go onto the map and you can travel to whichever part of the universe that you want to. There's loads of different uh, cities, there's loads of different uh, worlds and planets that you can go to and from, and then there's a tower in the center of all of that. This would be an amazing way for Halo to just evolve into something completely different, giving you the opportunity and the freedom to go wherever you want and do whatever it is you want. I've said this for a very long time, I would love Halo to do something like this. The main center like the Tower and Destiny could be Reach in the Halo universe. You'd have different places, you'd have maybe Earth, you'd have loads of other places around it, and even one of the Halo rings to travel to and from. The Ark you could go to and from. Different places like this that has people or well-known characters on that you can go and do a task or a mission or a quest for. Like, imagine being able to go to the world of St. Helios and teaming up and doing a quest with the Arbiter just because you want to, or because there's a new task for that week to go to St. Helios and do that task. Or you could go to Reach and you could do some different bits with Dr. Halsey. You could go to a lab and do different bits. Or you could go back to Earth and you could help different UNSC leaders or whoever it might be to complete tasks, wipe out an area, take back an area from the banished stuff like this i think the game would really benefit from that i think the replay value would be absolutely massive and it would just increase the visibility of a pve mode i can only dream that that's the case and that we that would get something like that in the future that would be a dream come true for me but let me know your thoughts and opinions down below however if that wasn't possible to do that I mean, I, I, it's pretty very far-fetched to say that that is the case an evolving zeta halo would cut it for me really really nicely so having a zeta halo ring that evolves over time having things like live events that you can jump into actual pve on the map which means something so if there's an event coming in for example there could just be a mysterious ship that appears out of nowhere no one really knows why or what but then the next event that happens that's when we hear more you could have things like a scarab just coming and patrolling the map for no reason at all random things moving things appearing out of nowhere parts of the ring being rebuilt Stuff like this would be an absolute game changer for me. It would make me want to go back onto Zeta Halo and explore and see if anything has changed. And if so, maybe do a video and theorize about it. Stuff like that would be amazing. And to be honest, that really would take Halo Infinite to the next level. I do think they're going to be doing that. I think they're going to be evolving their Zeta Halo for future campaign DLC. But we'll have to wait and see. And now finally touching up on armor and progression. To be honest, with progression wise, Destiny and Halo are not that different as it stands. Destiny doesn't necessarily have, other than your light level, a ranking system as such. Your light level is something that gives you additional power, which you can go in to do the high power level tasks or missions or whatever it might be. However, the main level comes from your battle pass in Destiny, and that's exactly the same with Halo Infinite, and no one really cares that much about it in Destiny. And the reason for that is because of the light level. You can increase your light level and that's how you become more powerful. And that is what people strive to increase. Halo Infinite doesn't have anything other than the battle pass. So that's obviously where the issues are there. But progression system wise, if Halo just has something that you can see that you're progressing, it doesn't even have to be complex or difficult in that sense. As long as you can physically see that you are progressing in that game, people will play it a lot more and enjoy it a lot more. And the same with armor as well. I like to have the incentive to unlock cool things. If there's a task which is extremely difficult to do, but I've done the challenge and I've got the armor, I'll feel a sense of accomplishment. And people around me are going to look at me and think, damn, that armor's pretty cool. Let's go and find out how to get it. And they're also going to try and go and do it as well. Stuff like this is why I love the, the Halo Reach ranking system with the weekly challenges, the daily challenges, giving me the credits to be able to go buy these different bits of armor. Obviously, as I mentioned at the beginning, Destiny is a looter shooter, so you will get... Uh, different loot and armors just by going around the map really and doing these quests and challenges and completing the missions so just works slightly different from halo there but nevertheless it's still really really good the way that they implement and give new things on a regular basis as well and the talent at bungie is really good just imagine if bungie was still in charge of halo would they have gone the route of destiny but it was just a quick video today, guys, going over everything that I wanted to get off my chest and I wanted to make this video for a very long time. I wanted to discuss the points it out there that this is this is how I want to see Halo going forward. Now, Halo has obviously got a better story than Destiny, in my opinion. It's also just a better overall game in 
the way it feels and the way it plays. But the way that Destiny do things, I can't help but play it and think, wow, this would really be amazing if Halo adopted this sort of setting or structure and implemented that into their game but guys let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comments we're very interested to know subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this one we try to put as much content as possible out uh, when new games come out this year as well we'll be branching out so that'd be exciting leave a like guys down below we'll see you all in the next one